Hello everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I wanted to talk about my nightmare of a dream bed that has finally happened. So it wouldn't just be a normal video if everything went as planned, but this is a really interesting story and still unfolding. So I feel like I need to share it with someone. So hopefully you get to enjoy and laugh at some of this experience and maybe be inspired as well. So I have been wanting to get a new bed for more than a decade. My current bed has now been well used, I guess, as you can say. I've had it for about 13 years and it was time to do an upgrade. I wanted to get a new frame and mattress. So the mattress was pretty straightforward. So we'll get into my like vision board and what I did and what I didn't want to do. So I'm not a fan of headboards unless they are affixed the wall. I don't own my apartment, so I rent, so I did not want to deal with that. And headboards that are attached to beds, I have had too many of them break in my lifetime, so I really wanted to have a bed that did not have a headboard. So I wanted to get like a just a frame bed. And then I had some like really cool mod ideas that I wanted to make happen with this as well. So I found a bed that I had ordered on Amazon. I should have ordered maybe directly from the manufacturer, but that didn't happen. I ordered it. It came. We missed the original delivery, so they came back when it arrived three or four weeks after when they were able to reschedule a delivery because of the holidays. They came without screws, so I had this beautiful bed frame with no way to put it together. I was luckily able to take care of screws later. And then I contacted the manufacturer, went through the insurance. They were able to ship me screws and those arrived yesterday. So it took about two months from me ordering the bed to having the frame and the screws together. It also came without instructions. So I was lucky enough to find makeshift instructions on the Amazon page for this bed. I will include a picture of these screws in this video, as like an overlay, that way, you, if you also don't have screws, you can purchase your own. But I have a bed, I have a frame, and I was ordered a mattress off of Ikea. I've never had one of their mattresses, but I have a few amount, a fair amount of Ikea furniture, like my dresser and bookshelf behind me. So, and my computer desk, actually. Um... So I trusted their mattress. I wanted to get a foam mattress, but the type of bed I have, the slats are too far apart. So if you have a foam mattress, this would not be a bed for you because the foam may kind of like go through the frames at the bottom of the bed. But I didn't want just like a normal bed. I wanted a bed that had RGB lighting underneath it. So I was able to take the same lighting that I have in my house and wire it under my bed and I will show video of that now as well but while we were installing the RGB lighting on my bed yesterday I may have also broken one of my toes when I kind of fell in this process after the fact I will not show photos of that because I don't want to gross you out but still dealing with a lot of pain so that's why there's more of me talking than less than me showing a video of my bed. But I wanted to say I'm so excited with the final results of this bed. I will post the link to the manufacturer, the lights, and the mattress in my description. I'm not going to use affiliate links for any of those, so it's just what I have. If you like the style or if you like inspiration for my RGB bed, and the RGB bed lighting that I do have, which you can kind of actually see, like, right there. It is also connected through my smart home app on my phone so I can change the lighting on my phone which is like really cool and it does it like really fast too like I don't know if you can kind of see the floor changing I will include like a better video of like what the actual bed looks like which is kind of in frame not intentionally but I'm so glad that this video is finally out I wanted to change my camera angle, but I'm still in a lot of pain and I'm still limping. 
But I'm glad to be back to making YouTube content. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my journey. And if you like more content like this, or if you want to see your name in the credits at the end of my YouTube videos, you can make a pledge on my Patreon. I am doing that. And I'm very excited to be making more content with you in the future. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being here. Sorry it's been so long for the last between uploads. I haven't had the internet for the last three weeks, but that's a very different story that I'm still working through. But thank you so much for being here. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. And if you like my content, subscribe.